So I'll hear people say, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. And the problem with that is they're leaving out the most important part of the equation. And that part is work, action, actually doing something. That's what you have to do to achieve anything. Yeah, you got to believe it, but you better get the work done. And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're going to quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. Because you're going to wake up most days and not feel like it. You're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. There's things that you know you're supposed to do as a human being. Things that you know are going to improve your life. Do those things. There's things that you know are going to make you a worse person and make your life worse. Don't do those things. Get up early. Do some kind of workout. Eat good foods. Clean your room. Make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life. And then wake up in the morning and do those things. And no, it is not easy. But you're not going to get it from anyone else but you. You think things are going to just go your way? Well, they're not going to just go your way. You gotta make them go your way. You think things are gonna just happen for you? Well, they're not just gonna happen for you. You gotta make them happen. Everyone seems to think that this world, this government, somebody owes them something. Nobody owes you shit. If you want something, go out there and get it. Go out there and take it. That's all there is to it. You need to stop this whining, this crying all the damn time, and get up and do something about it. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your f***ing feelings. F*** your feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you've got air in your lungs, then you have no excuse. It's just a matter of perspective. You're either going to be a f***ing sheep, or you're going to be a lion. You're going to be an attacker and a go-getter. But if you want to sit there and cry, bitch, and moan and whine all the f***ing time, what you can't, 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 then you sit your ass on that bench with the losers, and you stay there. But don't expect me to turn around and pat you on the back and say, hey, good job for being a f***ing quitter. Get up and do something about it. People who win f***ing do sh and people who lose talk sh You can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then f***ing do them. That's reality. That's the sh** nobody wants to admit because admitting so means that you have to take responsibility for where you are currently. And you have to say, I am where I am currently because I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And guess what? That f***ing hurts a little bit. But once you accept that truth, you are able to then move forward with the actions required to get you to where you want to go. Discipline your body. Free your mind. Get up early and go. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. Where is the wealthiest place in the world? It's not China. It's not Dubai. It's the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, you will find inventions never invented. Businesses never erected. Songs never sung, books never written, ideas never nurtured, people never realized. But you want to know something else? You're not in the graveyard. Yet. We get one life. And every passing moment, we will never get back again. The problem is, you think you have time. Stop wasting your life. You got to make a decision. What's the decision? Now we're at the moment. The clock is ticking. Is it the decision to finally get serious? Is it the decision to stop worrying about what people think? What's the decision right now? What is it? Be honest with yourself. It's sitting right in front of you. What's the decision? What have you been hesitating on? What are you afraid of? Face it right now. What do you need to decide? I don't know what it is for you, but I know this. It's only a thought if you don't take an action. The difference between a thought and a decision is an action. You will have really decided if within this next hour you took some step towards it. Something. Something you do that you follow up with the action to make it real. Because you've been burying your dreams all your damn life. And guess what? You keep thinking you're waiting for the right time. Let me tell you something. You keep burying those dreams. The longer you wait, the harder they are to find. 
It's time you dig those things out right now and find them and put them right in front of you again and go chase them. We are going to be aggressive and that's got to be your default mode. The good deals that you think are going to come to you in the world, they're not going to come knocking on your door. You got to go out and make them happen. Don't give me this thing, I have a difficult time with the time and I don't have time for this and I don't have that. You have time. You make the time. I need to make all of the sacrifices. Whatever it takes, I need to focus in a way that I've never focused before. That you can do. All the energy that's going to be required. Today, you can put that energy in. Today, you can light that fire. Today, you can get started. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do on Saturday matters. What you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a fuck what day it is. It's going to run no matter what. So put in the work. Put in the reps. It might take 10 reps, 20 reps, 100 reps. It might take 1,000. Who cares? Just put in the rep. Put in the rep. Put in the rep. And keep putting in the rep. And after you keep putting the rep, put in some more reps. Then give me another rep. Give me a rep. Give me a rep. Give me a rep. If you put in the reps and you put in enough reps and you make the sacrifices, you will wake up one day and that rep will turn into a reward. So shut up and put in the rep. If you are intentional and deliberate every single day, if you do a little, you're going to wake up one day and your dreams are going to be a reality. Accept that it's going to take time. Accept that you're going to have to do the work. Accept that it's going to be hard. And go f***ing do it. When your life is f***ing hard and life is coming at you, you will panic and you will forget who the f*** you are. Because in the worst of f***ing times, you are alone. You must get your f***ing self out of the f***ing sewer. No one's coming in that f***ing sewer to get you. It's dark, it's nasty, there's rats down there. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. Anything you focus your mind on, you can change. You don't like the way your life is going, you're the only one who can change it. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be anything. You don't want to be if you ever decide to change your mind. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. Embrace that darkness. I don't care who you are. I don't care what title you hold. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what it looks like to people. This is not about people. This is about your life. Don't you quit. Don't give up. You have to get up. In the chaos is an opportunity. It is the chaos of the time that creates the conqueror in the man. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toe to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. It's just a step. If you don't like how you feel right now? Stop crying. It's just a step. Why are you up all night over a step? Why would you be weeping and worried over one step in the whole topography of your life? You can't judge your life by where you are in this moment. Do you not know that where you are will pass? What you're worried about will pass? Don't you understand that one day you're going to look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night? Don't you understand that it's not nearly as major as you thought it was? You can live without your house. You can live without your car. You can live without your friend. You can live without your husband. You can live without your wife. There's more in you right now that's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to stand up. You can't talk out now. You can't fold now. It's not there to stop you. It's only there to challenge you. You want to grow through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You're going through hell? Don't stop. 
Keep moving. You keep on swinging, and the universe will yield to you. Energy is measured by motion. That's why the devil wants you to sit, shut up, and feel sorry for yourself. But try to blow the devil's mind this morning. Just when you think he got you down, you ought to shock him and press. Is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, your life is worth it. I came to tell somebody, you got just enough strength left. You got just enough time left. You got just enough energy left to run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. Everything that you do is habit forming. And that includes hitting the snooze button. That includes sitting on the couch. It's all habit forming. You know what else is habit forming? Discipline. Setting the alarm and getting up. Going and working out. That stuff is all habit forming too. I recommend you form some discipline habits. Defeating those negative instincts that are out to defeat us is the difference between winning and losing. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. You have to do it, and you have to do it now. You have to fight back against procrastination. When you feel that hesitation, get hyper aggressive. Kick in that door and bust into that room. Go, do not wait. Take that first step and make it happen. You initiate action, you go. No more bowing down to whatever unhealthy or unproductive thoughts float through my mind. No more waiting for the perfect moment and no more indecision and no more lies. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Real decisions that move your life along are not coming out of your emotions, they're coming out of your head. Real opportunities have to come out of your head and not out of your feelings. Nobody who ever ran the Olympics and trained and worked out and finished and crossed the finish line effectively got there because they felt like working out. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. What's your tombstone going to say about you? I don't care how much money you make, you only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. Because that's all we got. That's what y'all don't realize most of the time. We don't get this again. We don't get this again. The car runs too fast. That's why we got to savor these moments. Because they right now. Stop wasting valuable time. Little things you're putting off, do it and do it right now. I know you've got other things to do. It. When you make a decision to do something, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to do it. You don't have to know how to do it. You only have to know you're going to do it. Because as you focus on that which you want to do, that which we focus on, that which we give our energy to, it will begin to multiply. It will begin to expand. It will begin to develop your consciousness. And out of that comes your greatness. Out of that comes a commitment. Out of that comes a passion for life. Out of that comes a special power that you have in you that you haven't even called on yet. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got, using ourselves up. Because if we don't, nobody else will. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. So what are you doing with your time? Are you doing something productive? Are you moving towards a goal, making yourself better? Or are you letting time slip by, wasted? You guys have an opportunity of a lifetime and it's a short window. So why not give 120? Because if you give 120, it feels good knowing that I've run my own life because I gave 120. And was it difficult? Absolutely it was. But it was worth it. You made it, class of 2018. You here. The other side, it's always worth it. I've experienced my fair share of pain in my life just like every other adult in this church today. So I went on to the amazing Oakwood Academy and Oakwood University and got my bachelor's and master's. But when I graduated, I didn't just graduate with degrees. I also graduated with an associate's in abandonment, with the bachelor's of brokenness, with the master's of misery, 
a PhD of pain and a doctrine of depression. Like life can be rough, but I kept putting the work in. And I said, this will not define me. This very thing I'm experiencing will refine me. Just those things will come true. Some of you sitting in front of me right now, you're not really sure what you want to do and where you're going to go in life. Let me tell you something. You work on being the absolute best version you can be of yourself and everything else is going to fall into place. So now I see myself traveling. I've been to South Africa about six, seven times the past few years. I have been to Australia three, four times the past few years. Like India, I never thought I'd be doing what I'm doing right now. Come on, y'all. I got kicked out of this school. I went to another school and failed over and over again. Drug and alcohol abuse. But my condition was not my conclusion where you are right now is just the beginning and there is so much more that you have and experience there was so much more that you're supposed to have everything that you attain to have you can have it but all you got to do is stand up and say I want success stand up and say I want value stand up and say I want to have an impact and be everything that this school and my family has prepared me to be but more importantly be everything that I've been created and called to be and when you do that my young friends I will see you at the top God bless you all.